and a quarter mile. Merge onto I-285 South. Welcome to Crafting with Cos. I'm Cos, and welcome back to Crafting with Cos. If you're back and you're ready for another DIY project, so these projects I'm going to be doing for traditionally styled Christmas decor pieces, and I'm going to jump right into the first project. But before I do, let's go over the materials that I used. So for the first project, I used all of these materials from the Dollar Tree minus the Rooster stovetop plate. So I started this project off by using some cardboard that I already had and I used that as the base for the centerpiece. And I just traced around the circle that I had and then I used a box cutter to cut out the circle. And after I got my cardboard circle cut out, then I used the hot glue gun E6000 mix to attach my wicker ring. So you can also spray paint the entire cardboard so it'll be all one color, or you can flip it so that the print is in the inside because it's going to be covered anyways. <laughs> And then after I get my base constructed, then I start using some leftover leaves that I've used for some previous projects. I use the flowers already and I just start putting those and covering those throughout the entire part of the base. And after I got the perimeter of the bottom covered with leaves, then I started to use some of my leftover block pieces that I had from the Dollar Tree that I used in previous projects as well. And I used that to create like a little lift in the middle so that I could add the sign. And then I placed a battery operated candle in front of where I'm going to place the sign and I'm basically just making sure that I get the height that I want to get and then I start to add some more leaves around the rest of the piece just to make sure that there's no more cardboard covered. And then I realized I had some vine foliage as well that I wrapped around the base. And then I decided to add a bow to the wording just for a little pop of color. And then I had some leftover wood slices that I was going to use for something else that I decided that I wasn't going to use it for anymore. And I added those to the piece as well. So then I just added some more wood slices and some more leaves so that you don't see any of the empty spots. And if you're liking this DIY, make sure you check out these other five upscale dollar Christmas DIYs that I've done in another video after you finish this one. And for the next project, I'm calling it a this way sign and I'm going to be using these materials to create another piece of cute Christmas tabletop decor. <music> 
So for the first step, I'm going to be selecting some of these window cling stickers to add to this chalkboard style frame. And then there's a clean sticker that says pine cedar and fir that I'm basically just going to be replicating on the wood sign using my red felt letters. And then I'm using this cylinder wood block that I've used in another Christmas DIY and I'm drilling a hole in the center of it so that I can add a dowel so that I can finish creating my sign. All right, and here I am starting to stack and construct the sign. And I'm gluing all the pieces together and adding some clear tape so that it can hold. For the next project, I'm using them same window cling stickers for the Farm Fresh sign. And I want this sign to have a more modern look, so I'm just going to be using the glass insert part of the frame to create the sign. remove the tabs from the inside of the frame and then I use a little bit of E6000 glue to adhere the window clings. I tried to use the hot glue but that wasn't working. And for the next piece of the decor, I use these materials to create a cute mini planner box. For the first part of this project, I detached the red truck Christmas ornament and I used the wording to adhere to the front of the wood box. And then I used some leftover styrofoam to fit inside of the box that I previously saved from a package. And then I trimmed up and added some foliage to cover the entire inside of the box. Lastly, I added some leftover ornaments to cover the empty spaces.
Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other projects and hit the likes button and subscribe to see what I'm crafting next.